confident yet on the new album, uh, The Lover in Me, does that really reflect your state of mind during the recording? Well, I guess so. I, um, I was very comfortable and happy. I think I've said this every year in my life, it's the happiest I've ever been, but it's true. I think as I go on, I get, I, I grow into myself. My mother used to say when she'd talk about puppies becoming dogs, he's grown into himself. I kind of feel like that's, uh, that's what's happened to me. I just feel comfortable in my life generally. There are some marked mood changes on the album. Do you think it's really reflected the different aspects of your personality quite well, too? Yeah, uh, that's what I set out to do when I had the songs written for me. I wanted to use different aspects of my personality, take them and magnify them. I mean, they're not exactly me, but uh, to take the, the strong, strident, confident side, which uh, is evident in songs like The Lover in Me and No Deposit, No Return, and take uh, the, the moodier side like days like this and the vulnerable side in some of the, va the ballads. So it, I think it does kind of give an overall picture of some of my personality traits, but it's not, um, it's not a biographical work. The songs don't tell the story of my life. You've made your home in L.A. Why did you decide to go out there in the first place? Uh, well, I uh, was living in London and I found myself that I was never at home. I was constantly living in hotels in the States because I was traveling so much throughout the States doing tours and television all over the place and I was always in a hotel so I decided it was time to buy a house there and around about that time I fell madly in love and the man that I fell in love with was based in Los Angeles and he was kind of stuck there he couldn't move with his job and I'm a nomad I could write songs or perform or live anywhere in the world so it was more convenient to both of us that we center ourselves there rather than him give up and, and try and find work in Britain. Um, and I was comfortable because it was also convenient for my work as well as personally. And uh, when the relationship ended, I had already made my roots there and my, I was comfortable in my home. I had my dogs, I had a good life there, so I just stayed. Do you feel that you were perhaps suffering from a credibility gap at home because your career was launched by Arrested Ransom's program, The Big Time and so on? I don't think it was so much credibility in taking me seriously. I just don't think they liked the music. People weren't buying the records. I would have been very happy if they weren't taking me seriously and buying my records. Now, Prince has produced a couple of tracks on the new LP. I know you've worked with him before. What's so special about Prince? He's unique. There's no one like him. There really isn't. He, uh, he works in his own way. He works, he like, you know, walks to his own drum, so to speak. He, he follows his own instinct musically, and uh, he really helps me a lot as an artist. He, he opened up, um, my approach to performing and to singing. He made me look at a lyric from two or three different angles and not always go with the first thing that I thought of whenever I would interpret a lyric. It was inevitable, I suppose, that the press would link you to him romantically. How do you respond to those reports that were flying around at the time that the two of you were um, very much an item? I, it's not just with him I've seen. I'm an item with a lot of guys. According to the press, I'm a very busy woman. <laughs> and uh, I think it... It's a little bit sexist that it seems to happen to women more than men. Um, if you're working with a man, they assume that there's an intimate relationship going on. You find it hard to believe that, um, that the male interest in you, can, you know, has got to be something other than superficial. Uh, but uh, I don't kind of like protest too much my innocence. I just state it simply. We're colleagues and we're friends and that's it. And if people don't choose to accept it, fine. You seem to be at a very comfortable stage of your life now, Sheena, but what about the future? Do you plan to get married, have children? Um, I'm very comfortable with myself, but uh, not in the terms of comfortable as in um, uh, looking for my retirement home plot, you know? Um, I still travel the world constantly. I'm still in and out of hotels. I'm still in television studios. I'm still in recording studios till 6 in the morning. And I still have the same lifestyle, basically, that I had um, ten years ago, I'm just more emotionally settled. Um, children, yes, um, not this year, but um, who knows when, next year, the year after, ten years, I don't know. So it will have to be really an emotional decision. When I feel the time is right, that's when I'll have kids, and hopefully God will say, okay, you want it, you can have it.